What's the biggest difference that we can see between a professional tennis player 200 backhand and an amateur player 200 backhand? Is the way they drop the racket right before they are going to start the swing forward on the 200 backhand, okay? So basically, most pro players, you can see how right before they hit the 200 backhand, the racket drops completely under the ball and then they are able to accelerate it up to get a crazy amount of topspin on that backhand. But on the other hand, when you check most of amateur players, they are very tense and they go straight to the ball without having any kind of drop, causing the ball to go very flat and most of times they are not able to get any kind of topspin and that's why most of times the 200 backhand is a bigger weakness on the amateur level. But don't worry about it, today we're going to give you exactly the drills that you got to use in order for you to start dropping the racket better and getting more topspin on that 200 backhand. Guys, like we told you last week, just in a few days we'll have something huge that you're going to love. So make sure you stay tuned, turn those notifications on because coming in just a few days we have something that is going to absolutely revolutionize your game. So stay tuned, don't forget to watch any of our videos and you will see soon what we're talking about. So if you don't know what this racket drop means, it's something very similar as the wrist lag and, rack, wrist lag and racket drop on the forehand. So how you take the racket back on the forehand as you start going forward, as we talked in many videos, when you're relaxed, you are able to let the racket lag behind you and drop right before it hits the ball, right? That's exactly what we're gonna be working on the back end. It's kind of like the wrist lag on the back end, okay? So we're gonna work on being very relaxed. As soon as you start the motion forward, the racket is going to lag behind our body and it's going to drop. So this way we're going to be able to get under the ball and accelerate going up to get that extra spin and gain control on that 200 backhand, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So for the first way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Sergey here next to me. What he's going to do is he's going to feed me very easy balls to my backhand. And I'm going to work with staying very relaxed. So. How are we going to do it to stay very relaxed? Because most of times, if I just go and tell you to stay relaxed, it's going to be extremely hard for you to do it because you are not used to it. What we're going to do is we are going to hold the racket like a regular backhand, but on each hand, we're going to only hold the racket with three fingers, okay? So as you can see, I'm going to show you right now. What I'm going to do is on the right hand, I'm going to hold the, here the top two fingers, and on my left hand, I'm going to do exactly the same. So as you can see, I have the bottom two fingers out of the racket. This is going to allow me to be way more relaxed and you will see how instantly the racket is going to start dropping behind me because I don't have enough power to hold it with both hands, okay? So you will see, I'm going to have Sergey here, he's going to feed me a ball and you will see how the racket drops. So I'm going to start here and I hit. You see, if you are very relaxed, you will see how much the racket is dropping right there. Don't worry, I'm missing the ball out here. We're just working on dropping the racket and then going up. So here. I'm gonna go down the line this time. Can keep hitting the same way. You can see how much top spin I'm getting here already. Very good. So you will see just by doing this drill how the racket is gonna instantly drop it just because you don't have enough power to hold the racket up here. Let's make it a little bit harder this time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix one of them with only two fingers and then on the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit like a normal 200 backhand, okay? So we're trying to transfer what we learned of dropping the racket only holding it with two fingers, transfer it with a regular backhand, okay? So we are going to always start with two fingers here. And then I'm going to try to do exactly the same with 200. You can see how the racket drops there. So here, two fingers. And then I hit it here. And I hear it very good. I'm gonna do one more time here. And 200 now again. Come on, Sergey. One more time. Here, top spin there, very nice. Very good. So now, make sure, after you drop, make sure you don't open up the rack, okay? Very important. So if you feel like your ball is flying, it's probably because you are dropping, you're doing it properly, but as you go forward, the racket opens up. So make sure, the racket is closed as you go forward, okay? Very good, we're gonna move on to the next drill now. What I'm gonna have Sergey to do right now is, he's gonna feed me the ball and I'm gonna hit it out of the air. So I'm gonna force myself, if I wanna make the ball go up with topspin, I need to make sure I drop the racket because since the ball is up here and I need to, and I need to turn quick, 
if I don't get below the ball, it's going to be impossible to hit with topspin, and all the balls are going to go to the bottom of the net just by hitting flat. So I'm going to start hitting here out of the air. Good. Very nice. Very nice. We're going to give you one more drill out of this one that he's feeding me with the hand. He's going to give me one out of the air, and the next one, what he's going to do is he's going to just bounce the ball like a normal backhand, and I'm going to be able to use this wrist lag and racket drop in order to hit a regular backhand. Okay, so here, first one, out of the air, and now swing. There. Very nice. Very good, and one more time. Very nice. So obviously it's easier here when he feeds me the ball with his hand. So now we're going to try to transfer this to a more realistic ball situation. So what I'm going to have to Sergey to do is he's going to go to the other side, and I'm going to start again with the two finger drill. Okay, so he's going to feed me a ball. I'm going to hit only with two fingers so far to keep working on this wrist like and dropping the right on that 200 back in. Okay, so here with two fingers. Don't worry about missing the ball. It's going to be a little bit harder now. Just make sure you have the racket drop and you get that spin on the ball, okay? Very good. Here, see how the racket drops instantly here. Even on high balls, you will see how the racket drops below the ball very easily. Very good. So that was enough. I'm going to do again, I'm going to mix one with only three fingers on the racket, then the next one is going to be my regular backhand, keep dropping the racket under the ball, okay? So, first one was with two fingers, three fingers only on the racket, I'm going to do with two, with the whole hand, very nice. Here. Very good. Very good. And one more time. Perfect. So as you can see, even when he's giving me the ball higher, you can see how the racket drops, right? That's what you want to see. If you record yourself and you find yourself here very stiff, go back to a drill where you can only hold the racket with three fingers, and you will see how you are going to force yourself to keep dropping the racket. Once you get used to that motion of dropping and then coming up quick, then come back to this kind of drills and try to transfer it into a real ball situation. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we have something very cool coming up soon. Just a few days, we're just finalizing the last steps just to make sure that everything is right and you love what we're gonna give you very soon. So stay tuned, watch the following video. We have more details coming up and we'll see you then.